Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Crooks209 back at you guys with another video and today we are going to be doing a fight breakdown between myself and Ed Parker. Uh, this fight happened in the TMA Prezi Lions Den tourney that happened this past weekend and man, this is a hell of a first round matchup for anybody to have uh, against Ed Parker, one of the best Conor McGregor fighters in the game on either console to be honest. So knowing that, I knew he was going to go with Connor. so I went with my Jorge Masvidal pick. Uh, in terms of stats, these guys are pretty equal. Connor has the punch speed, uh, but Jorge is no slouch either on the feet, and I knew this was going to be a stand-up war. And that's honestly the reason why I wanted to do this fight breakdown is because it is a high, high, high-level striking contest between myself and Ed Parker. So here we go. We're going to jump right into the fight with uh, myself and Ed Parker. There's a high level of respect, but uh, this is for money, so we're going all out to try to get this W. So we hit him with the respect before we even jump into the fight. Here we are, we show respect by bowing to each other, we touch gloves, and we're underway. So starting off, I wanted to give him some space, just kind of wanted to pop the jab out there. Throw a couple leg kicks to try to see how he if he would check him or what he would really do regarding him. Um, I didn't want to come out and really start pressuring him because uh, he's so great at, uh, at working the body and draining stamina. I knew I'd be in trouble if I tried to use that game plan. So we're just popping the jab, kind of trying to take our time, trying to get reads on what he's doing. Um, he's using the space as well. He's being very, very patient. Hits me with that good kick right there. We hit him with another good kick right there. So we're just trying to keep him corralled in the corner here, but wisely gets out of there, returns to the middle of the octagon. Make him whiff a strike right there. So we're using our jab. We went very jab heavy in this in this contest. Trying to throw a lot of uppercuts to keep him off my body as well. So hit him with a good one, two right there. Miss a front kick, but hit him with a jab hook after. Make him whiff that strike there. Cost him a lot of stamina. So we're just popping the jab out there. And leg kicks. Leg kicks played a huge part in this fight as well. Uh, so as you can see, my body health is getting a little bit low. Even though I break down his his, uh, his block right there, I need to be careful because he loves to body hunt. So we block that kick right there. We whiff that third strike, but don't even throw the fourth strike. He hits us with a good head kick. He slip hooks me right here, and that's my sign that I need to reset. Uh, so we, we, we use movement, we get out of that corner, and we go back to popping the jab where we are safe at. Hit him with a good lead kick right there. Hit him with a good rear calf kick right there. And we're working that calf. Now I noticed that he did not block any of these. Most of these were landing in the first round. So I wanted to start to switch to that heavy because if he's not going to block it, I'm going to keep going to it. But now he's starting to pressure me a little bit. Tries to hit me with a front kick. Tries to go back to that straight head kick that he hit me with earlier, uh, uh, earlier but he, we're not having that. We exchange two punch combinations right there. Come back with a jab, jab, straight. Miss him on the last two strikes, but hit him with that jab enough to, to make him back up. So he tries to jab, jab, straight us right here. Pop out a good jab. And now we're back in the pocket here. So we hit him with a good front kick right there. We're able to break his block here, knock him down. We get a good clean knockdown right there. Get him with another leg kick. Knock him down with a straight uh, with a straight hook. We're into a ground and pound situation here. Are we gonna be able to get the finish? We are not. We get pulled down into his guard. Now I realized here that I was safe here. Connor doesn't have very good submissions. There's so little time left on the clock. So I'm just gonna try to point, get some points by punching his body. And just relax here. This first round couldn't have gone any better in terms of getting the rhythm and setting precedent for the rest of the fight. But I also knew that Ed can flip the script at any time. Not only him as a player, but Conor McGregor has the power and the speed to knock me out at any moment. So I'm not going to come out and go crazy. So here we are. We start in the second round. We touch gloves again. We're back. Give him some space. He hit, and now he's trying to pressure us a little bit. So I hit him with a, some good leg kicks right there. He goes down to the body, but we hit him with a jab hook right there. So here you notice that he's pressuring us, uh, unlike he did in the first round. 
So we really need to take our time because he's trying to get that damage back. His head health is really low. And I noticed that his leg health is low as well. So we're going to try to double down on those leg kicks. Get him to switch that stance to... Because Connor only has an 80 overall switch stance. So I knew his power will drop significantly if he switches stance. But Ed knows that as well. So he's putting the pressure on me in southpaw. He's landing more than he was landing in the first round. So we're sticking that jab out there. Trying to leg kick where we have... When we have a chance, hit him with a good three-piece right there, break his block, and he hits us on the counter of that leg kick. So we need to be careful, Connor. If he lands a lot of those, he's going to put us out. So we're popping the jab off. Try to hit him with a lead hook right there. Didn't, aren't able to get anything. He's slipping off. He's throwing combinations. I'm throwing combinations. Landing beautiful leg kicks as well. We're fighting very, very well off the back foot here. We pop a jab out there. We hit him with a beautiful lead hook. We're able to get a knockdown right there off of the three punch combination. We throw two knees through his body. Try to hit him with the uppercut, but he's having none of it. And as you can see, he was switching his stances there. So we try to hit him with a straight. He wisely pull counters it right there. We hit him with a beautiful slip straight. We hit him with an uppercut, get a rock. He slips three of the four strikes that I throw at him. Good thing he did not try to counter there because I would have been in big trouble. He's still popping. That leg kick, that calf kick out there. He hits us with a good straight. We whiff another leg kick, so we need to calm down here. So now we're back in the pocket. He's trying to pull counter elbow. Maybe we break his leg right there. We're able to break his block. He slips down to avoid the hook that we throw. But now we got him to switch stance, and his head health is low. So we got double the good work. We get a beautiful knockdown. He slips down. We hit him with an uppercut hook. And now we're thrown into a ground and pound situation. We are able to get the finish there with a good hook. Man, at this moment, right there, my heart felt like I had run a damn marathon. Uh, shout out to Ed Parker. That was a hell of a fight. Um, it was amazing, man. It was an amazing contest in terms of the striking. Um, I learned a lot from it. Uh, hopefully, you guys learned a lot from it as well, as well as this fighter breakdown. Uh, shout out to Ed for being in the tourney. Shout out to uh, TMA Prezi for hosting the tourney. It's so nice to see uh, the community hosting money tournaments for each other. It's really a, a nice thing to see. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that like button before you guys head out. Let me know if you guys want to see me do more fight breakdowns like this in the comment section. And until the next video, guys, take it easy, be safe, and thank you for stopping by again.